Hey guys, Scourge Review stuff here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Iron Man 2 Mark 6, 6 inch Iron Man. So, uh, if you look at the casing, basic Iron Man 2, it's good for Iron Man for the movie, Iron Man 2 up there, movie series, buried film, Serie de la Gear, and Serie the film and it comes with a launching missile and it's a Walmart exclusive. Um, so let's open this bad boy up and uh, see how it looks. Well, first thing I noticed is that in the package he doesn't really come with his snot missile, as people call it, and his snot missile cannon, but he also comes with separate hands. Um, so I guess that's good. Um, so, get him out. It's a little loud. Um, so, just take my time. I'll show you guys quick time. Those are just uh, his hands right there. Just a uh, closed fist, partially open fist, and his palm. Um, but yes. Down to the snot missile. Shoots out because of the bears with the button. And I gotta grab that so I don't forget about it. But um, yes, so there is his little attachment that indeed goes on him right there. Oh. Right. It goes on him right there. So if you want to add this on to him, go right ahead. Honestly though, well, nope. Not a great thing to add. So um let's just get on to it. Um there's Iron Man. Looks like that kind of well, practically exactly like the one from the movie. Um if you haven't seen the movie, go and watch it. It's amazing. Uh, there's this triangle arc reactor. I'm not going to explain why it's a triangle one, just not to spoil the movie for some of you. Um, so then his head does indeed turn 360, goes, sorry, 360, up and down, right? And it does look a lot similar to the one from the thing, except for the fact that it has the silver in it. Um, I don't remember seeing silver in the movie, but you know what? That's a good little concept, makes it look a little nicer. Lots of silver there, so he, again, uh, well not again, because it's my first Iron Man review. I still had to worry about it for a while. Um, his shoulder pads move up, revealing a ball joint, which can spin 360 there, up to that point, down there. And then he's got two joints at his elbow, as you can see. And then he's got wrist articulation. Really um, up and down, kind of, like that, and spins 360. That's it for him in the way of articulation up on his arm, and he does a little swivel at the upper torso. Um, and then he's got ball joints down here, which turn 360, um, go out, like that. Another two joints at his knee. And limited and or possibly yeah, just limited posability in his foot. Can't make them his foot go out. Um but detailing on this figure, very nice. Um he's very good if you're an Iron Man fan, even if you're not, um very great figure, uh, for an Iron Man toy. Not really well, there's actually a lot of them, but I this is about my well, counting all the other ones I have now. Um, the first Iron Man figure I got, excluding the Ultimate War Machine, which can be com as counted as an uh, Ultimate Iron Man because it's just a repaint, is this guy. So, Thorbuster Iron Man, compare him, completely towers him, and as you can tell, more comic book accurate, and this is more movie accurate with the darker hot rod, uh, red. But, compare him to another movie figure, who I have not reviewed yet, 
but will be reviewed very quickly. Found him at my, at my local Walmart. I was actually quite surprised. The Mark V. So, Mark V kind of has a bit of limited possibility compared to him. And they are about the exact same size. In fact, Mark V, I actually kind of like that this one better because he's a little thinner. I understand that, yeah, it is a suit, but he's a little bulky. But I guess it's an Iron Man, so nonetheless. So, there is that Iron Man. And I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Mark VI Armor Iron Man. Great for any Iron Man collection, great for the person who's making the Hall of Armors. Um, unfortunately, I believe a lot of them do come with bases, and he does not. So that is a little unfortunate. Um, stick around for my review of this guy. And, back here, my review of the Concept Series Mission Tech. Sorry about the glare. There you go. Alright guys, stick around for those reviews, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great day.